Hi guys, this is Pratif. So today we will take very interesting topic. This is advanced foreign currency valuation. Concept is same foreign currency valuation, but in S4HANA 2022, SAP introduced this foreign uh, advanced foreign currency valuation. Here, a couple of changes are there, and uh, we will do a comparison with our classic foreign currency valuations. Now, what is the purpose of uh, this advanced foreign currency valuations? Now, this advanced foreign currency valuation we are going to calculate on the basis of your accounting standard on the basis of your financial statements, not on the basis of your valuation area. So you know that when you are going for foreign currency valuation, valuation area is important because user is going to execute the foreign currency valuation on the basis of valuation area and they have to select the valuation area and similarly when you are going to do the configuration, there also you are going to assign the GL account under your valuation area. Now valuation area is not required while doing the configuration while the execution. So I will show you the uh, execution part also. So you will find that valuation area I am not going to select. So that is one change. Second change is in uh, EC, uh, I mean in the old one, not in ECC, even the S4 also, the previous versions. So when we are going to run the foreign currency valuation, so you will get the output in all currencies, whatever the currencies you have configured or the currency type, whatever you have configured. So there you will get the output. Whereas in advanced foreign currency valuation, we are going to do on the basis of your functional currency. That is the uh, important one for functional uh, currency. In case of functional currency is not available, if you have not configured the for, uh, functional currency, so in that case maybe we can use the company code currency, but priority will be the functional currency. So that is uh, the second number. If functional currency is not there, then company code. In fact, in my configuration also I have not configured a functional currency. I will show you in company code currency, but when I will run the report, you will see the priority one will be the functional currency, the output one. So and again, as usual, it is part of your period and closing activities. And uh, another important here is uh, that when in older versions, when we are going to execute the foreign currency valuation, we know that we are using the transaction code FAGL underscore FCV. Now, if in a particular client, if foreign currency, advanced foreign currency valuation is activated and uh, after that, if user is going to run the old transaction code, then it is not going to work. So you will get a blank page and uh, uh, there you will check the message, you will find that this in this particular client advanced foreign currency already activated, so the old process will not be applicable. And this execution part is completely shifted from your on-premises to Fury. So that means now we are going to run the bad jobs for foreign currency valuation and through one particular application we are going to uh, execute that one. I will also show you the Fury part, the front end, as it is completely shifted to cloud, so that we will run and we will see the output. And if it is hybrid system, then you will get the output in both your cloud system as well as on the on-premises. So that is also another important change. So all your runs are available through the job templates and uh, we are going to use the application that is scheduled general ledger jobs. So that is uh, another uh, uh, changes you can say. Let's do a detailed comparison between our old and the foreign currency valuation or advanced foreign currency valuation so that you will get more clarity on that and after that we will run the foreign currency or by using that particular application. So let's go for the comparison. Few points I gathered here when we will compare this advanced foreign currency valuation with our uh, classic one. If you check the first point, the advanced valuation run using the delta posting advanced valuation run using the delta posting where it's in the classic foreign currency valuation the reversal posting logic is applicable we will see that once i will practically run it the advanced foreign currency valuations are posted to the valuated account instead of your adjustment accounts in your foreign currency valuations so here we are going to take unrealized gain unrealized loss and your realized loss and realized gain right so all these postings you will see once i will run it then in your classic foreign currency valuations, valuation was done on the basis of your configured currency type like for example in the configuration you have maintained the currency type as 10 and whatever you have maintained on that the valuation will be there in the classic foreign currency valuation whereas in the advanced currency valuations always here the valuations will be on functional currency but if functional currency is not applicable then or it is not not you have not defined so in that case it may be can also be used with your company code currency so that is another important point in all your advanced runs the valuation area is not used anymore so you just recall when you are going to go for the classic foreign currency valuation so in that case we have to specify at the time of execution you have to specify the valuation area or at the time of uh, when you are going to assign your GL accounts when you are going to map your GL accounts along with your the uh, uh, chart of account where you are going to assign your KDB or KDF account key so that time you have to specify your valuation area 
that valuation area which is linked with your valuation method that is as per the classic one but now valuation area is not applicable in fact no need to configure also rather now we are going to use the accounting principle so prerequisite here is you should have the accounting principle and that accounting principle should be assigned with your ledger and another important is your balance sheet it means FSV. So without FSV, foreign currency, advanced foreign currency valuation is not going to work. So on the basis of that, it is going to work. So classic foreign currency valuation could be posed to several ledgers, like you have uh, defined multiple ledgers, like leading ledger, non-leading ledger, or with simulation run, you can use simulation run, you can see this uh, particular image related to simulation run. Whereas advanced foreign currency valuation is linked with only one ledger, whatever in your configuration or your accounting principle is linked with your ledger so that we are going to avoid duplicate entries. So in this way also we are going to reduce the data footprint because of this advanced foreign valuations. And uh, last point, the screen selection is different because as I said, now we are going to use here the Fiori applications, the Fiori application we are going to use that schedule general jobs. Uh, that we are going to use and uh, there we can execute with test run, actual run. So in that way also, we user, user is going to get a new experience. So without wasting much time, let's execute this foreign currency valuation by using the Fury application and by using that particular application. And for your reference, I have a couple of transactions, foreign currency transactions for uh, my company code currency is USD, whereas I'm uh, going to post or I'm going to run the foreign currency valuation for my foreign currency transactions. In this category, I have entered uh, uh, some GL entry. So this GL entry, suppose this is one GL entry or the transaction I have. So this, this transaction is recorded in different currency. It is posted in INR currency. So we will take this one. So uh, that we are going to evaluate. And I have a couple of uh, vendor transactions that also I'm going to consider here. So we are also going to execute or foreign currency run for this particular transaction. So both the transactions are recorded in different currencies and I'm going to run the foreign currency valuation and now we will see in month end because of this other currency transactions, do we have any uh, difference is there or not or any valuation is going to be there or not and how this new user experience or this new platform that Fury is different from the old one. Okay, and just to confirm with this, can I go for the old process? Can I run the old process? Right, so let's see. In this particular system, advanced currency valuation is activated, and now I'm trying to follow the old process for my foreign currency valuation, which is uh, uh, under you will find under this valuate because it is your month end activities, and we are going to run this one FAGL underscore FCV. Right, so here I'm going to run it. For example, let's say for this company code, if I'm going to run it, okay, and uh, it is not it is no more available or. Uh, you can't get it here. So just, just to show you that error, I'm using this one. Anyway, it is not going to work. Let's take the key date here. Key date means this month date I'm going to take. And uh, let me select here all open items that is related to GL, customer vendor related to GL. And let's see whether it is going to work or not. Now you can see here uh, it is no more available. I'm getting a blank message. The uh, screen is blank, nothing is there. And if I will check this message here, I'm getting that advanced valuation is active. So in this particular system, so that old concept is no more available. So we have to go for Fiori only. And in this Fiori platform, we need to run that particular application through that only we are going to execute. So that is schedule general ledger jobs. Okay, so here you are going to specify. So here uh, the template we are going to use. So first option you just click on create. Right, so we, we are using the template here advanced foreign currency valuation. Next step maintain the parameters. Step two. Then step three. So this is for which company code for a reference the company code I'm using this one. Then uh, ledger, whatever the ledger you have configured, leading, non-leading, extension, whatever ledger. So uh, for your reference, I'm using leading ledger and I have assigned ac accordingly my accounting principle. Then key date I'm taking here this month. So it is June, July. July, I will take 31st July. That is my key date. Okay, so we can go for test run first, then we will go for update run. So in test run, you will get the report, everything, but the accounting entry will not be there or your books of accounts are not going to update, means system is not going to update. 
So, then schedule it simple ok. So, it is there in the end process refresh. So, in test run it is there. So, with this if I will check my GL entries I will not get anything ok. So, for this if I will select no, I cannot see anything only that original transaction it is there this is my loan account and uh, nothing has been updated so far, but let us close it. But I can see some outputs in test run output and you can check your log also. So, right. So, you can see uh, the result is available now this is the result. So, whether anything whether it is error or complete anything we will get the result here click on this result ok. So, here you will find all your information. So, you will get the log information, so you will get your uh, foreign currency and everything you will get here. So, as I said here uh, functional currency is the priority if functional currency is there then valuation will be there in functional currency in my case functional currency I have not configured. So, that is why valuation is available in the company code currency all this information we can check or we can get it once you will check the log. So, foreign currency it is available log, log there is no error and if you check here it is showing that application log application summary ok and uh, it is I am not getting any error. So, everything is available now let us see the output the output we are going to check as I said in my case company code currency output will be there. So, something happened here right you can see here something happened and posting status I am getting I am getting here that these are the GL accounts are included in my valuations. So, this is your GL account that is a reconciliation account accounts payable for vendor to related transactions and uh, this is related to uh, another account that is uh, there ok and uh, some documents are generated. So, we will see those documents. So, those are month and documents and uh, the transaction was posted in euro. So, related to that this particular transaction is available ok and uh, it is there. Now, I want to see the information in the actual run and if you click here you will get all the details before about that execution. So, job template all these informations are there. Now, if everything is ok now I want to see the output and uh, here I am going to go for the actual run It is the same concept, but only thing is in a different way we can evaluate with this uh, advanced foreign currency valuation. Update run and schedule. Now, we will check uh, all this month end documents which already we posted from Fury and uh, we will see how uh, this uh, foreign currency is evaluated or what are the transactions are posted. So, I am going to check the document display FB03 and uh, here I am going to add the company code for which company code I have executed this run and uh, I will take here the date. So, uh, and I am checking the document related to my leading ledger because this ledger was linked with my foreign currency valuation and posting date should be month end 31st July. So, the July 31st I will select here and I will execute. So, on this date uh, just ignore the last document document type CO these three documents are related to your foreign currency valuation. So, let us randomly check any document. So, this document you can see it is your exchange rate loss and right now you can see it is uh, reported in euro and euro is not our local currency. Our local currency is UST and I said that this foreign currency will be evaluated either with your functional currency if functional currency is not there then company code currency. So, if I am going to change my so here 0 no information and if I will check here the local currency now you can see the difference is there. So, this is the difference. So, exchange rate loss account is debited here with this amount and the credit amount transferred to the loan account. Now, if you will check the loan account there you will find the foreign currency entry and the actual entry. So, here I will take the account this is the account three zero double one and check. Now, this is my original entry. 
So that means we have taken this loan on 1st July and on month end we evaluated it. So this is your entry. This is the foreign currency because of the valuation. So loan amount now increased. So now the payable amount is not 9332. It is 10,860. So this is the benefit of foreign currency valuation. Overall, if we we'll see the concept and uh, let me show the other document. We have some more documents. Uh, definitely those documents related to vendor maybe. Uh, again here also the uh, this is INR again another foreign currency. So this is not our local currency. We will select your local currency. Now see this one. So your uh, exchange rate loss account is debited exchange rate loss. So this is also reported to your PNL. Overall, if you will see the concept, the foreign currency valuation, whatever earlier, now it is also same. Only thing is now we are having the better option. So we did a comparison with your classic foreign currency valuation, also with this advanced foreign currency valuation and all these valuations, everything we are doing with your uh, as per the accounting standard and for this the FSV the pre as prerequisite and some more configurations will be there. So in another video I will show you the back end configuration what are re required because in this video we have seen the front end part the back end part uh, because the video will be lengthy so that I do not want to include here. So in next video I will show you the configuration related to advanced foreign currency valuations. Thank you.